Well, the event that prompted the anti-racism protests all around the world was, of course, the death of George Floyd in the United States. Well, today, his funeral was held in Houston, where he grew up. His family was joined by leaders of public and political life in the city. President Trump's rival for the presidency, Joe Biden, sent a video message echoing the demands of the Floyd family for justice. Though the mountains shake with the swelling... George Floyd's casket was closed for the final time. This is a man whose death has galvanized America and other countries as well to look hard in the mirror and to ask searching questions about racial justice and equality. At the same time, 1,000 miles away, people also gathered at the scene of that casual brutality of two weeks ago that engulfed America in turmoil and unrest. <laughs> At his funeral service today in Houston, the most searing words came from a young generation. First off, I want to say, hello, my name is Brooke Williams, George Floyd's niece, and I can breathe. As long as I'm breathing, justice will be served. She recalled her uncle's last moments and asked questions of America that go to the heart of this country's sense of identity and its claim to exceptionalism. Dear Officer Shope, no remorse while watching my uncle's soul leave his body. He begged and pleaded many times just for you to get up, but you just pushed harder. Why must this system be corrupt and broken? Laws were already put in place for the African-American system to fail. And these laws need to be changed. No more hate crimes, please. Someone said make America great again, but when has America ever been great? The mayor of Houston said that Floyd's death should be the catalyst for a change in policing tactics all over America. Is that in this city, we will ban chokeholds and strangleholds. In this city, we will require de-escalation. In this city, you have to give a warning before you shoot. In this city, you have a duty to intervene. With the president's response widely judged to be tone deaf to the grievances of African Americans, his rival Joe Biden delivered a video message to the funeral. Why in this nation do too many black Americans wake up knowing that they could lose their life in the course of just living their life? Why does justice not roll like a river or righteousness like a mighty stream? Why? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we can't turn away. We must not turn away. We cannot leave this moment thinking we can once again turn away from racism that stings at our very soul. George Floyd's name echoed around the many protests across America and around the world. But more than a chant and a hashtag, his death may be the moment that forces this country to recognize how deep remains the stain and the legacy of a racist past. Robert Moore, News at 10, Washington.